one. So in this video, I'm going to be creating more of your emergency hamburg suggestions so we can actually see how they look and stuff. I've done this video a few times before, but it's been a while. So let's just do it again. Um, and there are some really interesting suggestions this video. So make sure you subscribe. Um, look, so this this first one, I wanted, I really wanted to do this for a long time. Add homes, which you can buy and own. I've always had this idea of like Hamburg real estate or something. So I think this would be a cool suggestion to start off with. And my idea is basically there would be a app in the phone. I know that the phone is getting a lot of apps recently. So actually, I think if you're um, if you're part of the police team and you're in a private server and you're an admin, there's no more space for any apps. So if they were to add any more apps, they're going to have to make the, the grid smaller. But yeah, I'm sure that's fine. But yeah, I want there to be an app right here that says like, you know, homes or something like that. You go in and then basically you have like um like an overhead view of all the properties. You can literally click on them and do stuff, stuff like that. And you can obviously buy one and then go inside, park your car in there. Like this will be a really cool update. So I'm going to just try design some sort of like functionality for that. All right. So as with all suggestion uh, concept thingies, I'm going to start by making the app icon, which is going to be uh, obviously just a rounded box. And there we go. And then I can probably name it something like houses or realty. I don't know, something like that. There we go. All you got to do is get all good old font source sans. And there you go. You got perfect app on app icon right there. House. And then I just need a little icon. I just need a little icon for that now. All right. So I just, I just downloaded this little um, home icon. Okay. And we obviously just got to embed that into here and then boom, there you go. It looks like it's meant to be there. Um, let's Let's just obviously give it a nice color. There we go. Got a nice little pink. I think that's that suits it quite nicely. And there we go. Um, so now we have the house app. So what do you do with this? Well, basically, there's going to be this big screen where it's like, you know, pick, select your property or whatever. So basically, I want a big screen where it like shows all the houses in the map. But obviously, I don't want all the existing markers of, you know, all the different fuel stations and things like that. So I'm having to painstakingly remove all of that and just keep the road bit because I don't need it to say ADAC on the housing map because you can't buy ADAC, obviously. Oh my God, finally. I've been sitting here for like 10, 15 minutes just going around the whole map, removing every single marker. You do not understand how long this takes. This, I mean, look, this is what it looked like before, okay? All right, and then this is what it looks like now. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big difference. Um, but anyway, now I can actually start putting in the house markers. So I don't actually know where the residential section is. All right, I think it's kind of around this area to the left of the tool shop. I mean, there's a lot of houses around here. So I think I'll just do that to start with. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is a good area. So go to Photoshop. Um, that's like right here. So I need to get like a marker icon. Right, I got a pretty nice one. Maps and flags. Stop PNG. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. So basically, we're just going to put a few like locations. So let's just put one here. Let's say there's a house. Okay. And it's right there. Then um, let's give it like a nice, nice color. So what we're thinking like... Uh, uh, maybe like a red, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Looks pretty good. All right. Um, so yeah, we got a house there. Then I want, I want the price above that. I think that would be pretty nice. All right. So I've changed up the style a little bit. I've made, um, you know, put this huge glow just to show. You know, it's the house app. Um, obviously, I've made the map all of one flat color. I've put a background on it. I've added this house icon. I didn't really like the marker. Uh, I like the house. And then you click it, and then this arrow comes up, and this box opens up. Forty two Hamburg. So it says the address. And then I've actually located that exact house. So I'm just going to take a quick photo of it like this for the uh, for the um, graphic there. So let's just take a quick screen cap. There we go. And boom. And then we're just going to make this nice and small. And we're going to have that as the image of the house. All we need now is a small price tag and a button. And there we go. That's it. 42 Hamburg Road. Buy now for 125,000 euros. You can press it's mine. And then you own the house and obviously you can go there and there's probably going to be some settings or some stuff you can change. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing the buying process. So this is my first suggestion created. And yeah, I think it looks really good. I think it looks really good. And it's for this house right here. So let's find something else to do. I'm only going to do two though. All right, this is one I would really like to create. So emergency hamburg, obviously when you join, it's just as play game. So this something like this would be cool. I think uh, a menu screen. I don't know what you would do in the menu. I think how it, how it's, how it is now is very good for, for first time players because you know, you just click play game. It's very simple, but I do think there should be some sort of hold screen before you're, before you're in, you know, I think that would be nice. So maybe it's not the best thing to add, but I'm going to make it see how it would look. This one's quite nice. I'm going to just like do it to their style, you know, with their buttons and stuff. 
So I would assume that when you're in that loading screen, there'll be some sort of camera moving around the map, you know, so I'm gonna, let's just say that is like, I don't know, what's a nice location? Probably like the waterfall. I'm gonna go there, take a nice picture for it. All right, so I had a bit of a different idea. I'm gonna do like a bus that's about to pull out of the, of the bus station here. I'm just gonna park it right there. I think it would be a nice little, uh, little thing and I'm planning to have the loading screen on the right side or not the loading the um the buttons you know actually no, let's put them on the left let's put them on the left that makes the most sense all right there we go so you just loaded into the game and you just have a nice static camera of a random location let's say it's the bus company this time and someone happens to be pulling out of the bus station all right so the first thing I would like to do on this screen is just because I'm not just going to put the buttons on the top of the screen because you wouldn't be able to read them very well so I think a good thing to do is to put a gradient which goes from left to right so black to transparent and this basically means that the buttons are going to be more uh, readable when people are looking at them so you can see there's a nice fade on the side here I need to play around with it a bit now very kindly on the emergency Hamburg website I've been provided with the vector file for the logo so literally all I gotta do is just drag it in, Photoshop, boom, and you got very high quality copy. And we can just mess around with this, make some buttons. So let's um see we're gonna wanna get this away from the edge equally. So we'll just go like 100, 100, I think, 100 pixels, 100 down, very good, alright. There we go. There's the logo. I think it could be a bit bigger actually. Alright, so what I've done is I've kind of I uh, added this nice graphic at the bottom which is just I took their lines and I put a gradient on it and made it a bit transparent Adjusted the background a little bit added these two buttons. So it says play game options And there you go. That's that's the loading screen I'm sure that this obviously if they actually implemented this they would add much more uh, Much more things to click But I, I, I don't know what else to put other than play game and options. Maybe that shows that this isn't actually necessary, but um, I think that it looks pretty cool. There are a few changes I would make. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the this black here. I would try and f mess around with it. It's a bit too dark, I think, so I would bring this down a bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I think this looks pretty cool, especially with the bus and everything, but it would make a cool feature, you know, different cameras around the game. You could also do it in this style, like having like a... Um, you know, just like a box here, but I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's a few different things they could do. But just the concept again, and I think it was a quite a nice one. So, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed me creating those concepts and um, the suggestions. Um, so, make sure you like the video, because this was a lot of work, honestly. Especially the housing one. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.